Hi and welcome to another beginner's guide for Escape from Tarkov. In this one I will focus on movement tips and tricks that may give you an edge in some situations. I will not go over all of your movement options, so make sure to familiarize yourself with all of them by going into keybind settings. Alright, so the first thing is exploring some of the movement options your PMC has at his disposal and applying them for practical use. Let's start with crouching, movement mode that you will probably use all the time as a new player. There are many pros of using this stance, like it's the most quiet one, you will lower your profile and gain some recoil control. But you should also know that in many cases you will be just a sitting duck, so the tip is just don't overuse this move. Use it only when it makes the most sense. You may think that surprising your opponent by sneaky play is the best possible thing you could do, and in many cases it is. But sometimes you just have to go fast and clear the brute way. So the next tip is a very basic move that is useful when you can't be sneaky. It's called jiggle picking or ADAD spam movement. Right now there is no inertia in Tarkov. Well, we actually don't know if this will be even implemented. So that means when you are not overweight, you can change movement direction very fast. One of the best uses of this knowledge is trying to check for danger when entering buildings or turning some dangerous corners. You just try to move fast next to the corner, trying to show your shoulder in hope enemy will misplay and just fire. At worst you risk only getting hit in the arm, but in exchange you will know where your opponent is. Now even if you don't want to use this strat, it's just good to know about it, so you will not get easily baited by somebody else doing it. Next feature is incremental leaning. Combine it with incremental crouching and this will open for you some nasty sniper shots that you would not be able to take otherwise. This can work with some small gaps, but I guess the most common usage of this will be sniping from bushes and trying to find position not obscured by leaves while still maintaining good concealment. There is also sidestepping, but to be fair it's too slow for what it does so it's not really something you should care about. I mention it for a different reason. You can use that move when you are prone and then you will twist your body to very unnatural position and you will look like you are dead. It's not like it's top tier combat option, but hey. Maybe one day it will save your life when you will hear enemy approaching while looting on the ground and you will not have time to get away. You should also be aware now that somebody could be pulling this trick on you. Before I will go with some parkour tricks, let me mention one more useful thing. If you are fighting versus very aggressive AI and want to lose aggro, then you should try to lose line of sight of your enemy and then enter the covert movement mode. To do so, you have to reduce your speed to a level that shows just a speaker icon without any additional symbols. You can also prone or just stand in place for a second. Now you should have another chance at shooting at AI before they will respawn. This is especially important versus raiders as they have tendency to aim lock on you and will instantly destroy you the second you pick them. Ok, so now let's talk a little about maps and how important it is to learn them, but not only in a way so we know how to move from point A to B. You have to think about them more than into D. Learn some sneaky passages, crossings and jumping spots that will let you surprise your opponents and give you an upper hand in combat. Good examples of what I have on my mind will come from customs map. Let's start with garage spawn area. You can jump on the roofs and that will give you a lot of vision. There is a drawback that comes with that, but if you are against somebody that is not aware that you can get there, he will definitely be surprised. There is a counter spot to this one in the big red. You can climb those fallen shelves and be able to see anybody running on the roofs in garages. Sometimes you can get tricked that some spots are impassable, while in fact they aren't, like in this example. In some spots you will be able to jump on the wall or railing, finding unexpected angles and surprise your enemy. I feel like this is a good place to talk about boss jump. You may have noticed that sometimes your jump is much longer than usual jump, this is what I'm talking about. There are two good ways to force this jump and this will open for you some more parkour options. So first, the easier method. You press W key to start moving forward and then you listen to your footsteps. After the second one, you press your run and jump key at the same time. The other option is going with the boost jump without almost any steps. You don't need much space, but it's much harder to master than two steps jump. You press W and then when your gun is lowered, you instantly press run and jump key. Now, if you have hard time mastering boost jumping, don't worry. If you level up your strength skill, you will increase your jumping distance, so you will be able to make some of the tricks with normal jumping. Good thing to know about is also the fact that you don't have to always use boost jump or even run and jump. 
Great example of this is the famous jump on the toy toy. Secret to this one is to aim not on the edge, but little outside of it. Let's continue with those parkour tips, but this time let's go with some basics. Let's start with climbing. So one of the best ways to climb rocks in Tarkov is sticking to the edge with obstacle on its side. By doing so, we'll just slide and reach the boulder above. This will let you avoid making jumping sounds that can easily give out your position. Second trick in this category is also trying to find ways to cross indoors obstacles. Let's look at this fallen shelves in Shoreline East Wing. If you will stick to the right side, you can actually push yourself up and move onto the shelf. With some trial and error, I found that if you try to move down in this place, there is no jumping down sound. So always try to experiment with this kind of stuff. Most of the people will expect much noise from somebody crossing this play, so you can easily catch them off guard if you can cross it silently. There's also moving backwards, and one good trick is using this movement mode when you want to move into some blocked areas. Great example of this one is this bench with trash bags on customs. As you can see there is no way I can get there, but as soon as I go backwards and make few slick moves to the right and left, we can get through. The jiggle moving trick can also be used while moving forward and climbing. For instance, it will let you climb on this hill in the weather station. Next trick is using sidestepping to jump over some obstacles. Good example of this are those high railings in factory. You can't get over them with forward jump, but side jump works wonders. You can also use it to try to get into some hard to get places. Last trick in this category is about moving through some gaps in walls. Again, let's look at this example on customs. We can't move through this opening while crouch, but as soon as we look down, we magically can squeeze in. Last tip may save your life in some situations. After you press loot on containers, you have a split second to input another action. Usually this is used to press your prone key, but you can also try to just move around the corner. One more thing, my prone key is set to Z, so I had to change my drop backpack from double pressing Z to make it work again after patch 12.8. Alright, I hope you liked this one. I will continue with more tips and tricks videos in the future. Thanks for watching and see you in raids!